guys, I'm Coach Michael Bird, the Super Coach. Every week, I come into your life to multiply your life and your money and your business. And listen, I know we're moving locations. We're building new greatness factories. But I'll always find a way to show up, to grow up, and deliver today on Super Coach from my loft in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. I'm coming to you live, and we're doing How Do You Have a 90-Day Burst? How do you create... 90 days of serious, serial momentum. You're watching Super Coach, and I'm Coach Michael Burt. Everybody needs a coach in life. Coaching businesses and entrepreneurs like you to spike an additional 40% to your bottom line. Michael Burt is a multi-championship coach, best-selling author, trainer, motivator, and all-around super coach. Now. Now. From the Greatness Factory Studios, this is Super Coach. Hey guys, welcome back. Super Coach, every week, multiplying life, money, and business. Thank you for being patient with me. Guys, we're in my loft, my creative loft, my creator's loft, and I always wanted a place to go where I could create, think, get away from the world, retreat to attack, and we're transitioning from the old Greatness Factory to new Greatness Factories. So one of the things I wanted to do is make sure we set this up to have this show for you. I believe a good coach can change your life. I believe a good coach will accelerate your life. And today I want to talk to you about all the people out there. I want to talk to you about how to have a 90-day burst. A burst is, is almost something inside of you that is bubbling up, that is coming to the surface, that, that, is, that you almost cannot suppress. It is like an irresistible belief for motive or action. I believe that in the first 90 days of this year, how you start is very critical to having an incredible year because here's what most people do. They start out in January. They try to figure out what their, their dominant focus is, what their B is going to be from A to B. They don't get started and typically until March. The worst mistake they're doing is they're using the exact same strategies this year that they used last year. And so what's happening is they come out of the gates, they peter-patter around, and then they get to the, the, the march and they go, you know what, I need to get serious about my business. That is not the purpose of a 90-day burst. I want you to think of a 90-day burst as come out of the gate strong. Push, exert, uh, increase. So I want to start this show off by asking you a simple question. And, and I was coaching the Wilson Group today and Superior Build, some of our best clients. I was teaching million-dollar follow-up to my monster producers here would be my first question in the 90-day burst. Here's some things I want to get agreement on. Number one, we believe what got us here won't get us there. When we look back over last year, we know the exact actions that we took to get the results that we got. It is a myth to believe that we can come back out in 2018, do the exact same thing we did in 2017, same strategies, and get better results. I actually don't believe you'll get better results. I actually think you could get worse results this year than you did last year if you come back and do the exact same thing. So just remember these things. Number one, the skills that got us out of Egypt can't always get us to the promised land. Number two, what got us here will not get us there. Number three, every significant breakthrough, every significant breakthrough is first a break with an old way of doing business into a new way of doing business. So I want to ask you a simple question. And I've always operated on this principle. A good plastic surgeon never makes more than 2.2 millimeters of change, and they never make more than seven changes. What two new strategies are you going to bring to 2018 that you didn't use in 2017? What two new strategies are you going to bring to 2018 that you didn't bring to 2017? Now, let me give an example. I believe in my own company that we should be doing hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars online with internet marketing. And I've been saying for years, we need our own internet sales team. We need our own internet sales department. But I would just talk it. I would just talk it. I would never take action on it. Finally, I get to this year and I'm like, look, we're gonna pick up some money. We've spent 10 years, I've spent 10 years creating intellectual capital, online academies. It's time to capitalize on those assets. I'm going to find a person who can help us build an internet sales department. We're going to push specials and online academies, and we're going to start making this shift to where the live events are premium, that we've got online events, we've got all this stuff. That's one new strategy I'm bringing to the equation. 
So when you think about this, it may be I'm going into a new market. I'm bringing a new strategy. I'm bringing new people on board. I'm trying something new. I want you thinking, if you're going to burst, what did Nick Saban do last night? He changed quarterbacks. Quarterback that had gotten him success all year long, what got us here won't get us there. How fast will you shift in 2018? So I'm going to close this segment out with some kryptonite, and the kryptonite is this. You can't see the picture when you're inside the frame. So you come back in 2018, and you actually are led to believe, which is wrong, that you can do the exact same thing you did last year and get to some bigger result. Who says you can't grow 30, 40, 50, 60, 100? Who says you can't grow 1,000%? Who says that you can't show quantum leaps in your business, but you're not going to do it if you come back and use the exact same strategy you were just using 30, 60, 90 days ago? Today we're talking 90-day burst. How do you burst out of the gate? How do you move to the second quarter on fire? When I come back, I'm going to show you how to build anything into a 90-day period and learn how to suck the sour so you can get to the sweet. You're watching Super Coach live from Coach Burt's Loft. I'm Coach Michael Burt. Hey, guys, Coach Burt. We're about, I'm going to say, 30,000 feet in the air right now. I got, a, I got a group full of people here with me on Super Coach Airlines. This is actually not my airplane. It was being chartered today, so we took another plane, but we're headed up to Chicago. And people were asking me around Christmas, like, why did I do it? Why did I take, why did I take action on an airplane? Why? Well, let me tell you why. Probably within three hours, maybe, maybe four at the most, of taking action, I get an email in. It's probably 10.30 at night on Friday night from a good friend that I was in strategic coach with many years ago named Tim Dixon. He said, I just took over as CEO of a company. It's a great company. we got a lot of opportunity. My speaker backed out of me. Can you come next Thursday and be this? My first thought was, man, I got Monster Producer Thursday night at 5.30. In any other way, the answer was no. But I look at my wife and I said, the answer is yes now, because now we got a bird to take us up there, right? Uh, let me say hi to everybody. Daniel Hodges, Jace Van Meter, Ty Hargrove, David Ross, Phil Leverett. What's up, everybody? Clint Trinity. I know we're getting some uh, we're getting some pushback here, guys, on our on our on our online because apparently our internet strength is not strong enough. So we're trying. Jack, how you feeling over there? Yeah, absolutely. So we're learning a lot today, guys, by shooting this show. So when we're talking 90-day burst, it, 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 there we go. Look, hey, it's coming in. It's coming out. Okay, I still see you on there, guys. I still see you on there. So thank you for tuning in. So let me do a short segment here on this one. And you're recording this, right? What we'll do is we'll put this up on my YouTube channel. We'll pump it back out through Facebook. I, I want you to get your mind around this 90-day burst. Here's what I believe. So in February 21st through the 25th, I'm speaking at 10X. It will be the biggest stage I've ever been on, and it has an emotional pull. It's, it's a big experience. It can be a game changer for me. What I have found by putting something in front of me 30, 60, 90 days in advance, it has given me the ability to learn to fight through some short-term discomfort. So I go to my trainer, and I say, man, I'd like to be down to 165 pounds for Las Vegas. I would like to get my weight down to 165 in Las Vegas. And, and so here's the deal. I'm willing in the short term to suck the sour to get to the sweet. I'm willing to get uncomfortable to, to be at 165. I'm willing to fight through the drudgery in a short term. So here's what I would tell you in this 90 day burst. I want you to set something in the future, 90 days in the future that has a strong emotional attack. You have a strong emotional attachment to. Could be a reward you give yourself, could be a consequence, but something you can, dr you can drive into, something that will force you to step back and look at your life and look at your business and look at everything. And I really think you need a, a body, that's physical, mind, that's mental, heart, that's relational, spirit, that's that's faith, that's your confidence, that's your conscience. I think you need something in all four dimensions of your nature that you say, for 90 days, I can do anything, man. For 90 days, I can push through this. For 90 days, I, I, I'm willing to fight through this. For 90 days, because at the end of 90 days, there's some kind of reward or there's some kind of consequence. There's something that's pushing me here. So when you think about burst, I want you thinking like this. 
I create what's called mental constructs. A mental construct is, a, is an idea that is placed into a, a, a structure that I can sell. So for example, at the end of last year, we did the 90-day burn. And the 90-day burn was less, less commit to 90 days. Now, if you're scared of commitment, can't fight through, can't see something through to its logical conclusion, scared, scared that you can't see it through, you just give me 90 days. So I go to my sales team, and I tell my sales team, anybody that's sitting on the fence and that will not take action, call them and say, look, you don't have to commit to a year. Just give us 90 days. We've got this new concept. It's called 90-day burn. We believe that if Coach Burke can coach you for 90 days, you're going to see the deep value. You're going to get a lift. You're going to be in a better place. And because of that, you're going to want to commit. Because here's the deal. I can't help you until you commit. I can't help you if you commit to one day, one week. I'm interested in mastery. I believe in long obedience in the same direction. I believe in pushing through. I believe in sucking the sour to get to the sweet. I believe in showing up early and staying late. I can't help you until you commit. So if you won't commit to a year, will you give me 90 days? So the 90-day burn created something for my sales team to go out into the market and create revenue and stimulate our own economy and push. So we're having a lot of success with that. And I go, you know what? Come January, let's do the 90-day burst. Burst is like something's coming up. I have this irrepressible belief, this conviction that's coming out of me. I need to push out into the marketplace. Let's do the 90-day burst. And anybody that's sitting on the fence that won't commit to a year, give them 90 days at this price point. And we raise the price point, by the way. And say, just get in and see what you think. I'm, I'm not interested in cotton candy. I'm only interested in people who are committed. There's a difference between cotton candy and commitment. Cotton candy is short term. Committed is long term. So I create these mental constructs. And these constructs are what really, really help you. So here's my question for you. In segment one, what did I ask you? What's your two new strategies you're going to bring to the table? Okay? In segment two, here's what I'm asking you. What is your version of my 90-day burn? What is your version of my 90-day burst? What is your version to stimulate your own economy? What is your version of how you can do these things? What is your version of this? Because all I'm looking for is a reason for my sales team to call out. Now, let me tell you, I added a sweetener to this. I go out to all my monster producers, which are 400 plus members and growing every week. If you're not in there, you need to be in there. And I say, the top three monsters out of 400 that show us the biggest year over year growth, percentage of growth, in quarter one, gets a free spot in Seaside, Florida uh, at one of my big retreats in Seaside. And I got some big people coming, okay? I got Brad Lee coming May 17th through the 20th. I'm doing Matt Monero in March. I'm doing Tom Love in April. I'm working on some other big, big time people to partner with and retreat. So you're going to get a spot in one of these if you get competitive, pull out the prey drive in you, and you are year over year, quarter one, most percentage of growth. That's what I'm interested in. What am I doing? Creating a mental construct so I can burst something out into the market. All the retail people that are out there, if you're not doing something to get people in the door, shame on you. You don't have to be making sure the clothes you have fit perfectly. And what I mean by that is in your retail shop, make sure everything is perfect. It don't matter if nobody comes to the circus. So the 90-day burst is a mental construct that you're using. You need your own version of a 90-day burn. You need your own version of something that's pushing out. You need your own version of something that is creating some revenue and momentum and everything like that. Okay, now, final point. Let me say shout out to everybody, Jack. We're back live. Karen Jones, Kathy, Brad Hall. Look at all these people. Clint Trinity. Good to see you. Tighten up, guys. Tighten up. Clint Trinity. Ready to be your own brand. Jeff Dockery. We'll see you in class, Jeff. Come on down. So, so I've, I've, I've unpacked a few things in this 90-Day Burst podcast. Number one, okay, what two new strategies are you bringing to the table this year you didn't do last year? Skills that got you out of Egypt can get you to the promised land. Number two, create a mental construct to stimulate your own economy. You got to get people to the circus. Go back and study P.T. Barnum. All the ways he got people in the door. Then he sold them an elephant ride. Then he sold them popcorn. Then he sold them candy and soda. You got to get more people in the door. So just watch all the things I do to get people in the door. Parties, events, showcase, Facebook, podcast. 
What I'm doing is stimulating, right? I'm, I, I don't want to ever allow another person to stand between me and my destiny. I'm going to create that destiny through massive amounts of action that I take, okay? And here's the final piece. What will you personally commit to? What discomfort will you fight through in the first 90 days? So here's a commitment. This is a Vince Lombardi commitment, guys. If you're out there watching me, here's a Vince Lombardi commitment. Number one, will you commit every day to getting up early in the morning and going to work on the body and the mind and the spirit? So if you looked at my planner and my monster producer planner, every morning you're going to see something, and what you're going to see is my personal time. So what you'll see is you're going to see wake up plus God plus personal time. That morning it's 4.30 to 6 in the morning. So I get up early. I get my mind ready, I get my body ready, I get my spirit ready to receive and go out into the marketplace and create value. So will you commit three days a week to getting yourself into an optimum performance level? Will you commit to getting up early? Will you commit to going to bed? Will you commit to eating like you're supposed to? Will you commit to your potential? Second thing is will you commit to training every day in this 90-day burst? Every day we train at 8.30, man. I've been having fun coaching our guys at 8.30 in the morning. So from 8.30 to 9 a.m., we train every day. Training is not something that you did. It's something you do every day. Military trains every day. Will you commit to that? Step three is will you commit to prospecting every day for two hours a day? We prospect from 9 to 11 every day. Will you commit to having a hit list of new money, a farm club of people you're trying to close? Will you commit to working your top 25? Will you commit to this? Because I was coaching this real estate team this afternoon, Jack, and I was asking Christy Wilson, who's a top, top, top entrepreneur, and I said, uh, tonight, for, a, for a real estate agent to 90-day burst, what can they do to stimulate their own economy? You know what she said? Just pick up the phone and call people. Just pick up the phone and call people. Who do you need to be calling? Past clients, current clients, potential clients, biggest advocates. Will you commit two hours a day to stimulating your own economy. And if you won't commit to that, you ain't serious. The purpose of any business is to create a customer. Now, when you add all of this up, two new strategies you're bringing to the table, right? Some type of mental construct, a sale, a stimulation, a package, a bundle, something that generates enthusiasm and excitement and energy. And you add that with consistency and discipline consistency to a process. Discipline is a derivative of the word disciple. When you become a disciple to your own future, you commit. Creativity follows. You commit. You figure things out. You commit. People start to open up. Opportunity starts to flow to you. Energy starts flowing to you because first, you made a commitment. So guys, let me, let me finish this show up. Shout out to everybody who's out there. Thank you for sticking with me on this. Carrie Ann Sear. What's up, Tommy Santel? Roll, tide, roll. Hey, don't ever bet against Saban, man. I'm telling you. What's the guy got to do, man, to show you that he's the real deal, folks? Bet on process. Bet on winning. Bet on atmosphere of success. So let me finish this show up for you, Carrie Ann Seer. We're talking 90-day burst. Go back and watch the show. Apologize for the, uh, the interruptions as we, we're in my loft today. We're trying to move into the new greatness factories. And so during this transition, we're not in the studio. And we got a makeshift studio here at my creative loft. But here, I want to close with this. I want you to get in your mind that, that everything's not going to come in a box with a bow around it. You're not going to know what's happening on the other side of this. On the other side of conflict, on the other side of discomfort, on the other side of you just committing is a deeper intimacy with your own potential. But until you suck the sour, you're not going to get to the sweet, man. Until you learn to fight through this little bit of discomfort, this, this equilibrium off balance, until you figure this out, nothing is going to change. You're not going to have a different year than you had last year. So commit in the first 90 days of the year. What can you do to commit with me? It's real simple. Get a monster producer. First one's on fr free. First one's on me. If you want to come to Mon uh, Cool Springs tomorrow from 9.30 to 11 a.m., I'll be in Cool Springs. Email me at info at coachbird.com. If you're in Monster and you're tired of watching the big-time producers produce and you, you sit on the sideline, get in the ball game. Get your butt in class. Get coaching. Commit to coming down to Seaside, Florida with me. Commit to going to 10X in Vegas with me. Com commit first and then see what happens because lots of creativity is going to follow. Lots of opportunity is going to follow when you make a commitment to your own future. I believe in commitment versus cotton candy. Guys, I'm a super coach every week multiplying life, money, and business. Download my podcast at Super Coach. 
Go to YouTube, see all the videos. Go to CoachBird.com. And if you're serious in being a legendary creature that dominates, go to MonsterProducer.com. And know this, I believe everybody needs a good coach in life. Have a great week, everybody.